I just realized I should have done this video when the iPhone X came out. I should have got even more views. God damn it. Hello fellow humans, welcome to another video. Today we'll be creating the studio light effect that you have probably seen on the iPhone X camera or from an actual studio light setup. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing you'd need to do is download PixArt. My initial idea was to make this effect in Snapseed, which everyone uses these days, but it's pretty hard on Snapseed and you are very limited in terms of tools and it didn't turn out well no matter how many times I tried. So we're going to do this in PixArt. Once you have PixArt installed, open it up and import your photo. The image I'm using here is from Unsplash and I'll link to this image right below that like button. Scroll to the right and select draw. Make sure you are working on a new empty layer. Select a black color from a color picker. Tap on the brush icon and select that faded brush right there. Make the brush size 128 pixels and opacity 100. Make the brush spacing 2% and squish at 100%. Make sure everything else is at 0 and scroll down and enable zoomability. This will maintain our brush size even when we zoom out. Tap the erase icon and do the exact same as we did with the brush. Select the brush tool and basically paint around your subject. Zoom in close when you want to make the edges sharp. Draw from a distance if you want to make the edges a bit faded. Because we selected zoomability earlier, the brush size stays the same when we zoom in or out. Since the background is going to be black, it makes no sense to make perfect selection for each piece of hair. In areas like this one, where there is too much hair that can be selected, simply zoom out and tap a few times around it. This will blend in the black color with the hair. So in this image, the background is visible through the girl's hair. We're going to do the same thing we did with the other part, but this time we're going to decrease the brush opacity. We don't want it to be completely black or else it will look obvious. Once you're finished, double check because once you tap that tick icon, there is no turning back. Before we take a look at our before and after, let's add our finishing touches. Go to effects, colors and select contrast. Pull the amount all the way to zero and tap the erase icon. Select the rectangle and change it to circle. Decrease the hardness to about 25, increase the circle size and move it where the subject's face is. Tap the tick icon, save it and you are done. Here's our before and here's after. Question of the day. Putting the numbers to the side, which one has a better camera and why? The Google Pixel 2 or the iPhone X? Let us know by leaving a comment down below. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you aren't already. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace out. <sighs> There has been less videos this past two weeks and the reason being is I had to travel. The channel video is be will be back. I'm recording videos right now. Make sure you press that bell icon as well because you don't want to miss any videos that are coming next because they are really cool. So thank you again for watching. I will see you in the next one. Peace.